Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the electric Israeli and FSD. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to my supporters and follow me on Twitter. And if you're in the market to buy a Tesla, please use my referral code and you can win points and miles and merchandise and whatever you want. So I, as you can see, I'm in my Tesla Model Y, my 2021 Tesla Model Y. And I've been driving Tesla Model Y cars, I had two of them, since June of 2020. So now it's June 2023, three years with this amazing car and no surprise, I'm not surprised why is this car bestseller in, in Q1 and it's the bestseller of Tesla cars and it sells more, more cars than all the other Tesla cars combined and on and on and on you go. And uh, I drove the two Tesla cars. I, I, I got the first one, the white Tesla in 2020, June 2020. I drove it for until uh, uh, October of 2021. And then I traded it in for this one. And ever since uh, I have this one, I'm going to tell you why I traded. And uh, I, altogether, I drove 100,000 miles, 160,000 kilometers. And basically, <clears throat> this car, these cars, the Model Ys serve me and my family, my two sons, uh, for everything. Obviously, but we pri primarily when we go to long trip, this is the car that we take. Okay, so we do at least one, sometimes two trips from the New Jersey area where we are all the way down to South Florida. It's like 1,200, 1,300 miles trip, and then. Uh, a lot of trips to Washington DC, Canada, I'm going to Montreal soon. This is the car where we take to family trips. Okay, we do have a Model um, 3 also, which I bought in 2018 and then I traded in in 2021. So we've been driving Tesla cars for a long, long, long time. I also wanted to give you a sense of the Tesla Model Y when I'm driving it not only in the parking lot and one of the great things about driving it's a very like i said in the parking lot it's a very comfortable ride okay uh i mean you may feel uh, some uh, road uh, hazard not ro road if the road is not so smooth where i live none of the roads are smooth your tax dollars at work not uh but um, i highly if you are in that market i highly recommend uh, that you use uh, the 19-inch uh, uh, wheels that come with the standard range and with the uh, long range. They're very comfortable. They are the most comfortable and the least susceptible for uh, flat tires. The 20-inch, a lot of people choose them, the 20-inch and the 21-inch um, for the performance, they pop, they pop, especially the 21-inch, they pop a lot because they're thinner. All right, also, one more thing I wanted to uh, say was the um, reason we traded the Tesla Model Y, uh, the 2021, is because the, uh, uh, at that time, the, the second-hand value of Tesla Model Y cars and Model 3, because I they traded my Model 3 at that time, uh, was so high that I basically made like almost $7,000 in a trade. I who, who makes money on cars, on selling cars? You know what I mean? If you're not a dealer or whatever. But you always lose money. The value goes down. However, <coughs> it, uh, I got, I sold it to uh, Vroom and I made like $7,000 more on it. Okay, and that's why I used that money to trade in for this uh, for this car. Same thing with the Model 3. There I made like $1,000 trading it to Tesla. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Uh, so that's uh, that. So that's what's the reason why we uh, why we did that. All right, let's go back to the parking lot. Now I'm going to share with you a lot of interesting numbers, but to me, the most important number in this car, and I, and that's why I understand I understand why it's so popular. It's popular for many reasons, but this one number, seventy six. You know what seventy six? Seventy six is cubic feet of cargo. Okay, which is two thousand and one hundred liters. Okay, if you take one liter bottles, you can fit that many. And it is a great and perfect design. Model 3, stretched up, a little wide, a little long. And because of the hatch, you can see in the back, because of the hatch, it gives you such tremendous room to have long trip family dri uh, trip drives. This is why it makes this car so great, so unique. It is very comfortable. As you see, I'm a big dude. I'm 6'2". 
and many LBs, so I can put uh, two babies on my head. Uh, great design, great visibility. Now, not so much in the back. You can see that bar over there. Here it is, that bar. It's very thick, but you get used to it. You get used to it. I understand the design. But this whole glass roof is so amazing. It's so open. It's so comforting. It's so uh, awesome. So I, I would give uh, the, the 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 best thing that I would say about this car it's it's design. Okay, great five seater. There is a seven seater option in the United States. I have a friend who has it. It's a great option and it's comfortable for children and people that are not big as me. All right, uh, or your mother-in-law depends. So it's a wonderful option in 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 the, in the North America. Really, one not in the rest of the world, which is really a lot of people are very upset about that. But the design, the five seat or the seven seat. And the cargo space and the under the cargo space and the front and the seats and the comfort and the visibility. That is, to me, is the number one reason why this car is so incredibly popular. And, and as as a 60-year-old man, I can tell you getting out of this car and getting into this car, it's much more comfortable to, for me uh, than in the Model 3. Now, I love the Model 3. It's great. It's unbelievable. It's great. We love it. We love it. All, but not compared to this in terms of comfort, visibility, cargo, family, trips, par excellence. So that's, I made my point. Number two, the range. It's a great range. Now it's not the big, it's not bigger, more range than the Model 3, but you have three options. Now you have three options in the United States, all all wheel drive, not in Europe. The standard range in Europe is uh, rear wheel drive. So all all wheel drive, all three options, 279 miles, 330 miles for the long range, and 303 miles for the um, uh, for the performance. Now, with the beauty of these Tesla cars, and this one in particular, it doesn't matter which version you pick uh, here or around the world. They all look the same, and they all have the same comfort and cargo space. That's amazing. Now, obviously, this the the, the um, range difference. So we have the long range, obviously, because we take a lot of trips, and it's a very efficient car. Okay, very efficient car, and uh, you have access to the to the superchargers. All the uh, uh, software updates is the same. Meaning that's the beauty of Tesla. Same thing. Everybody gets the same so, uh, uh, software update. Everybody gets the same uh, upgrades if you want to buy things or FSD. When we go to Florida out once or twice a year, we just rent the uh, FSD for one month and then we drive it this way. This one has the uh, basic autopilot. My Model 3 has the FSD. We bought it in it and it's there. So that's great. But this one, because we just drive around town, and long trips, that's what we have. So we 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 love this car. We absolutely love the car. So it's great range, depending what you need. You have all the options, depending what you need. Now all of them now in the United States do get the uh, federal tax incentives. Do get the federal tax incentive seventy five hundred dollars. And depend with depending which state you live, you can get additional incentives. In New Jersey, you don't say pay sales tax on electric cars. There's other state incentives. California, Oregon, depends where you live, you get a lot of incentives. So it's much more affordable than it ever was. Uh, I'm 47, this is all before tax incentives, 70, uh, 47,000 plus uh, for the standard range, 50 plus for the long range and 54 plus thousand dollars for the uh, for the um, performance. So the, and, and again, you can bring it down with the tax incentive and depends where you live. So it is much more affordable than it ever was. Now, like all Tesla cars, the maintenance here is very little. I, the, I drove the, I am driving this car for closer to 35,000 miles already, this, this one. And the only thing I did is tires. That's it, tires. Now it has, now, I never thought, I knew about it, but I never thought of it until a couple of weeks ago. There's a HEPA filter in this car, just like in the Model S and Model X, not the Model 3. And you all remember the fires that were in Canada a couple of weeks ago, and, 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 I, and schools were closed, and there were restrictions, and it couldn't be outdoors. It was, it was choking. And I, my, my wife drove this car, and I drove this car, and we put the HEPA filter, and it was great. It was great, really, it's, it's really a great feature. You never think about it until you need it. So it has those features, okay? 
So, uh, uh, try, again, if I say, what do you love about this car the most? The most is the uh, uh, family trips. It is so comfortable. I spent the night in this car. I slept in this car one night at work. We had some kind of retreat at work. Sp uh, I, I, I spent the night in this car using the camp mode and it was great uh, there's i bought a i bought a um uh what do you call it a, a mattress that fits the back and it was great i put a fireplace it's wonderful it's really re now it's not it's not something i do i did it only once but it is a wonderful wonderful experience we ha i had the, uh, sleeping in this car and two people can sleep in this car you know not too big like me but two people can fit in this car it's a nice romantic uh, 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 something that you want to do once in a while, unless you like that kind of stuff. So it's great. It's great. So uh, I, I want to say that driving Tesla Model Y for three years now, a hundred thousand was a lot of miles. It's been nothing but but a pleasure. Nothing but a pleasure uh, uh, to us and to the family in terms of expenses. Ex again, except for tires, I di we did not spend one dollar on anything. You know, I did a cabin filter once, but that's like 60 bucks. In the, in the older car or this car, I don't even remember. I mean, the the uh, maintenance is so minimal that you don't even remember what you did. Again, except for tires, which I rotate once a year or sometimes twice a year, and I replace them after 30,000, 40,000 miles. That's it. That's all she wrote. There is nothing to do. It is the most boring car to maintain, to own and maintain because you do nothing. So uh, that's and of course the infotainment, the uh, software update that you get in all the Tesla cars. So that's great. Uh, you know, it's it's wonderful. You you get it's it goes everywhere. So that's what so makes it so uh, amazing owning Tesla cars and and the superchargers are the best. No wonder everybody's joining Tesla superchargers. They finally got it. All right, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.